Welcome to this radio channel and this is a little video for um, those that are interested or actually want to know a little more about beacons. So beacons on the amateur bands um, are there to purely let you know about propagation. So the idea behind a beacon is you put a beacon up and you let it run and this gives an idea of general propagation. So if you are on say the 40 meter band and you receive a beacon from Bulgaria well you know that propagation to Bulgaria and probably to Europe is good they're really really there to help you understand what part of the world you can usually receive these beacons so two uh, lists that I want to share with all of you is uh, the first one is this one uh, G3 USF worldwide list of HF beacons that I often go to it's updated quite regularly you see here last update is December the 10th and basically it is a list of all the beacons around every amateur band so every amateur band has some kind of beacons that you can listen to and of course you have all the details of all the beacons available up to the 10 meter band um, basically and uh, does it stop I think it stops on the 10 meter band so this is pretty cool and has a lot of helpful and fun things that you can DX. So you can, you know, use this as an amateur radio operator to understand what part of the world you can probably, uh, you know, send your signal to. But also, you know, for the fun of just catching beacons and uh, DXing these little beacons. Uh, in this list, you've got all the information about, you know, the power used, the type of antenna, and uh, the call sign and all the you know location information and uh, the uh, amateur call sign related to that beacon so uh, check it out it's kind of cool to uh, really listen to these things and uh, actually tonight I was thinking that uh, one of the things I will try to do is try to DX a little bit of these beacons and see if I can hear some and of course I'll post videos if I do another website I want to share and by the way both websites are in the description below the video you can click the links is the International Beacon Project, which is kind of cool. So this basically is very simple. It's been going on for a long time. I think it started in 1979 or something like that. So you have these beacons across this world map. And basically what happens is these beacons have a revolving schedule. So every uh, 10 minutes or five, six, seven minutes, I don't remember exactly the exact cycle, but uh, these beacons will cycle through. So if you stay on one frequency in a you know eight to ten minute range you will actually have received or the possibility of receiving all of these beacons now of course they are propagation beacons so that means you will hear those that propagation is actually good enough to bring you at your location and if you don't hear some others well that means propagation is probably not good for that region they are low power, so uh, it's kind of interesting to listen to these things. Uh, you have more information on the page. So here you see uh, they are broadcasting on a frequency of, uh, let me just check the frequencies here. Here we go. 14100, 18110, 21150, 24930, and 28200 megahertz. You just put your radio there. Uh, if you have a single sideband radio, put it a little below so for example you have a little portable receiver you can put yourself in upper sideband or in sideband and either move the BFO a little farther away so you can hear the beat frequency or if you have a more um, you know professional like radio that you can tune very precisely in upper lower sideband then you know you can tune like 14099 upper sideband or 14101 lower sideband to hear these beacons or if you have a dedicated tabletop like uh, my icon for example there's a CW mode so you can just go on the frequency and put yourself in CW mode it's a great way also to learn your Morse code if you wish to do so because you'll have to identify in Morse code each beacon so um, it's a fun thing to do and uh, it's kind of cool to uh, you know see what region of the world so both websites will be in the description below the video check that out and uh, have fun and of course if you're an amateur radio operator Learn to use these beacons to kind of understand if, um, you know, propagation is open to certain parts of the world on the HF bands. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.